What is up YouTube, Everything Epan here, and today I'm doing a video tutorial on how to install Windows Neptune in VirtualBox. Now this is the beta version of uh, what would be Windows 2000, so, um, and this is the only beta version that they released, it would be build number 5111. So without further ado, let's go ahead and begin the tutorial. Um, if you do not have VirtualBox, you need to go ahead and grab the download here. Um, they update this whenever a new version is released, so the latest version is 5.0. You can also get the extension pack. And then you need to create a new virtual machine when you have VirtualBox open. Now I'm going to name mine Windows Neptune. And then for the version, just select uh, Windows 2000. Hit Next, and I'm going to bump up the RAM a little bit. Oops. There we go. Then you create a uh, virtual hard drive. And then hit create and then hit settings and storage and then this empty slot here to find the disk and then this will be in the description as well um, Windows Neptune uh, ISO will be in the description and then once you hit OK you hit start there's a very quick process lots of these are very quick and the virtual machine will start to run and there you see it even says Neptune setup. It doesn't say like Windows 2000 setup or Windows XP setup. But there, this is that's what it was codenamed before uh, 2000 was originated. And this is the only public beta to be released. Now it says Windows 2000 professional, but once you get actually started up and stuff, it will say Neptune. So hit Enter to set up Windows 10. Um, Windows 10. Windows 2000. Um, jeez. Windows Neptune now, I keep saying 2000. Then hit C to continue setup and it's going to have a long license agreement. Don't have to scroll through that, just hit F8. Then hit enter to install on that uh, space. And then hit enter to use the NTFS file system format. Now it's going to file your, or er, format your uh, virtual hard drive. In this case it would be your virtual hard drive. It's going to check your disk. And it's going to copy files. This should not take long. As you see, it's already at 30%. And then you will get to the end. And then it will get to a point, I believe, where you restart already. So, yep. Here's the first restart, so just hit Enter. You can let the countdown go through if you want, but Enter just makes it go quicker. Do not hit any key to uh, boot from the CD. A lot of people do that as a mistake. There you see the Windows uh, Microsoft Neptune uh, boot screen. This is what, that's what it looked like at the time. And then now we're going to be going through the setup process of Neptune. So it'll give you a installation progress bar on the bottom of that little window there. It even says it says Microsoft Neptune under construction as you see because it was a beta uh, it was in beta at the time obviously and even you can even hit that little comments button there if you want I guess but as you see it's going pretty fast it's already over three-fourths of the way done almost fully done as you can see this does not take long at all and then you'll get to the Neptune setup wizard so uh, hit next to continue it's going to install devices and it shouldn't take too long but it may take a little bit you see the uh, progress bar right here which is going fairly quick it even gives you a little description it says it can detect your keyboard and mouse and it could take several minutes and your screen may flicker for a few seconds, so I, I have not seen that yet, but it may possibly happen. As you see, it's a, about looks like about halfway finished, and then it will get to another screen, which will go and continue with the setup. So I'm gonna head back with you guys once uh, this little progress bar with installing devices is finished. There's that uh, process actually does take a couple minutes, but uh, your screen actually will flicker um, partway through. Mine did. I did not show you that part, but if it looks like it's about to crash, just let it go. 
I thought it was about to crash, but then the screen started flickering. So um, this is to change your uh, keyboard layout and your language. So mine's already set to what I need it to, so I just hit next. And then I'm just going to go ahead and hit everything. Epan for the name, because I believe you do have to have a name for it. And then uh, enter in a name for the PC. So I'm going to just do Neptune PC. Right, next, choose your uh, time zone. And then hit next. And then now it's going to install the networking components which is already at the full progress bar here so this should not take too long at all and it's going to install some more components gonna copy files as well and this may take several minutes it says so I'm gonna believe their word on that but if it looks like it's going this fast it may not so I'm going to be back with you guys once this is all finished and on to the next screen. And then I'll take you to this screen next, performing the final task. It's going to do start menu items, register components, save settings, and remove temporary files. So this will not take long. As you see, it's on registering components. This really does remind me of the Windows XP setup, to be honest. But... just may take time uh, for it to do it but I'll be back with you guys on the next screen or next reboot okay so we are now at the completing the Neptune setup wizard screen so it says you have successfully uh, completed the Neptune setup so go ahead and hit finish and your machine should restart once again do not press any key to boot from the CD or just keep going through the same process over and over again You'll get the uh, boot up screen of Neptune. And that is what it looked like at the time. And it'll do the uh, login screen. will pop up here. Or at least it's going to log you in automatically, and I believe. I was about to say, we be I believe we have sound on this, and you heard the uh, startup sound, so that's good that you have sound. So that was the sound also used with, uh, the, um, with Windows 2000 and also Windows Me. So that's where that pretty much originated from. And on the first login, it may take a bit to get all of your icons on the left and the uh, start menu and taskbar and stuff on the bottom and for your whole desktop to load. But it's just uh, pretty much getting everything ready for the first time. You see this is the default background, obviously. It was the default background for Windows 95, 98, um, Neptune 2000, pretty much. Uh, most of the OS is back in the um, mid to late 90s and early 2000s, up to Windows XP pretty much. But if uh, it takes longer than expected to uh, load your desktop, that is okay. But if you think that um, something is wrong, you can uh, restart your machine. That shouldn't do any harm to it. In fact, I'll even prove that to you right now if you go to... Nope, actually I don't need to, because <laughs> it ended up popping up. Maybe it's because I just said that. So I'm going to just uh, type in my thing here. I haven't really seen this pop up at all before, but I'm going to hit OK. And you can restart to change effects now, but nope, I'm not going to do that because this is the end of the tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. This is my tutorial on how to install Windows Neptune in VirtualBox. More tutorials coming soon. Like this video if it helped you out, subscribe for more tutorials, and share this video so that it can help out other people as well. And comment below if you have any requests for tutorials in the future. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.